need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. You can create a project plan for a new project file by clicking the project tab within the ribbon and then clicking the project information button that appears within the properties button group after creating a new blank project file. A project plan allows you to set the basic parameters for the project file. In the project information dialog box, you can enter the start date, the current date, and then select project start date from the schedule from drop down menu. This allows Microsoft Project to track tasks from the given start date. Note that you can set a finish date and then schedule tasks from the finish date back up to the current date if desired, but that's typically a bit more complicated. This is also typically only useful when you have a standard project that contains standard easily measured and controlled tasks that you know must end by a specified date and simply wish to know when the project should begin. Otherwise, you will probably want to pick the start date and calculate tasks from the start date to find the projected end date. Note that you only need to give Microsoft Project either the start date or the end date. It will calculate the other date based on the task workload that you enter. Scheduling from a specified start date causes projects to schedule all tasks to begin as soon as possible. This also gives you the most scheduling flexibility when entering tasks for the project. Next, you can use the calendar drop-down to select the default working calendar to use. You can select either 24 hours to allow for 24-hour scheduling of project-related work, night shift to allow for the scheduling of project related tasks from 11 p.m. to 8 a.m. Monday through Saturday with a one hour break each day or select standard to select the scheduling of project related tasks from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday with a one hour lunch break each day. Finally, if you're using Microsoft Project Professional, you may have special custom fields and field values that need to be entered for your project. If these are needed, they will be shown in the Enterprise Custom Fields area where you can enter any custom field values as necessary. Once you've entered the necessary information into the Project Information dialog box, you can then click the OK button to set the basic project information. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.